not entirely sure, but if I'm not mistaken, this is some kind of rose bush. It's got thorns all over it. Oh, can you see a bird of prey far up there circling? We've come out here in the spring. You see this green marsh laying, starting to spring up. You know, animals have been coming here, getting fresh water. Don't know if you can see the tracks there, but these little uh, watering holes in the marshes here, starting to bloom. And already, this saw. Uh, Moss is starting to grow on these rotten logs. You can use this really good for firewood under here if it's dry, but it's not very dry right now. Here's some better stuff. We're gonna make a fire. This is what you want this dry stuff. But well, already, early in the spring, it's all coming up still. These brambles here haven't started uh, blooming yet, but. Once they start, it's going to look like a jungle in here. And it's, you can see on the forest floor, it's pretty clear. The canopy is still pretty clear, but once it all gets to be about summer, you won't see any sunlight in here. I'm looking for some things to eat. This here's ragweed, and I see a lot of weeds growing. Nothing really good to eat around here yet. Um, if you look around, you might find some swamp violets. And you can eat the swamp violet leaves. I think they taste pretty good. I don't see them, but you're going to look for some heart shaped leaves. Well, and here we go. I'm just talking about swamp violets, and here we find some. Very pretty flowers. But the leaves, these heart shaped leaves, you can eat these. Um. Right now, they're tender. They don't taste like anything, really. They're a little bit older, they taste uh, They have a more distinct flavor to them. So, eating swamp violets. One of the first plants I find coming up out of the ground here in the summer or in the spring is uh, it's either wild hemlock or wild carrot. You need to be really careful. I don't recommend anyone eat wild carrot just to make sure they're not eating wild hemlock. Hemlock will kill you. This seems to be... And this is wild hemlock I think with the purple on the stem. So you do not want to eat wild hemlock. It can look a lot like uh, wild carrots or what they call uh, St. Anne's lace, or Queen Anne's lace. Only uh, one's poison and the other's not. So better learn the difference between the two. Here's some more hemlock. Uh, I've been told the difference between hemlock and carrots is that hemlock has purple on the stem, but I've found carrots also that have purple on the stem, so I just avoid eating either of them. Here we are down by the water. I can already see some animals have been here. I, it might be a deer track, I can't really tell, but yeah, this is a, kind of stagnant here. I wouldn't drink any of this water without filtering it or trying to boil it first, but um, if you're out here and you're starving, you can usually find clams, or uh, you missed it before the camera turned on, but there's some frogs underneath here. Something's definitely been here down by the water. If I'm not mistaken, these really look like deer tracks. I don't think a coyote's been here. These look more like deer. I kid come down, took a drink, and turned around. Walk back up that way. It's 
I'm going to have a good sign. The bees are out already. They're getting their nectar off the flowers. We had a problem with some bees dying off the last couple of years. But it's good to see a honeybee again. I don't see any, but this reminded me of it. This kind of stuff here floating in the water. It's like uh, where they are. Uh, what do you call them? Where the frogs like to lay their eggs. It's not, not too uh, far from now. You'll see little tadpoles. They're laying around in the water. Here's some old clam shells. This one's been uh, cracked open. It's probably a very old one. Um, you can eat clams. I don't recommend you eat them raw, but if you know they're free of uh, any kinds of diseases or parasites that might be in the water, it's a good idea to uh, just keep the insides out and clean them. Now I like to keep these clam shells if you're out in the wilderness. You can use them for uh, digging. You can also hold water in them, hold other things in them. I uh, put pine pinch pitch in mine and uh, melt it down, make glue out of it. So these are nice little natural bowls. Here's one that's uh, I found in the dirt. Some are flatter than others. Some of them don't make good shovels. Some of them are quite brittle, but there's a lot of these around. We'll just stick them back in there. Well, I want to show you this. Not this, but Look right under here. Some kind of animal gotten in there and made its home out of these. And uh, I uh, surmise it's some kind of bird. Can't see down the side. But animals get up in there in these old branches and they make their homes in there. So if you need to find eggs or something, it's a good idea to look for little critters inside there. It's quite nice out here in the spring down by the water. All those little holes in there, animal tracks. It's another good idea. There's a deer track if you can see it right there. But uh, if you're really desperate to su survive out in some kind of springtime swamp environment, you stay by the water because that's where the animals are. And oftentimes you can find duck eggs and feathers, a lot of waterfowl, turtles, things like that. They like to make their home up here in the, in the banks of the rivers.